Let's try this again. Okay, well, I was trying to show you guys my strawberry video, but that didn't work out. So I just, I kept trying to reconnect it and resume it. It didn't, it didn't work. So I'm kind of upset about that. Hello. But hey, I still have something else to do and something that I haven't shown you guys on my channel. So I'll proceed. But let me just show you guys how the strawberries came out since I was interrupted. These are the finished berries. Um, like I was saying in my last video, these strawberries are beautiful. I got them at Sam's. Um, they're nice size. They're just right. I mean, look at this one. Let me close my blind a little bit. There you go. This is a beautiful. These are really big, pretty berries so yeah so i'm finished with these they're officially dry um i'm gonna show you guys how i package them and then i'll move on to the pretzels thank you okay so i use a cupcake um holder for the strawberries and i use cupcake um papers um to place them in my hands are clean um i make sure i sanitize and wash them really well before i start an order um so yeah and that's my little logo my little sticker with my information on it if you're not go ahead over to instagram and follow me on ig it's unique sweets and treats and i also have um an instagram called yazzie's world and that's where i kind of show you guys more of everything i do with planning hair nails makeup all that great stuff so let's get these strawberries loaded up and put in the refrigerator because my customer will pick up tomorrow around noon but these are so pretty and i also keep a paper towel near me because sometimes the juices from the strawberry kind of tend to leak out So I just want to wipe it a little bit and you place it in, pull the stick out and you're done. You move on and just place them into the container. So I'll make this fast so I can get to the um, pretzel dipping. These are huge. I'm really mad, guys. I wanted you guys to see how I, the day I choose to go live, YouTube want to interrupt videos and do all that crazy stuff. Like I said, if they're damp on the bottom, I have a paper towel near. I just kind of set them down, get the juices from them. And put them in the cupcake foils. No, I'm in my area code is six seven. I'm in six seven eight. I'm in Georgia, North Georgia. Amanda, what area code is 443? I've never heard of 443 area code.
hold on. Let me show you what it, let me show you. That's my, inst that's my Instagram right there. Amanda. It's all together, no spaces. Unique sweets and treats. No spaces. And my name is Yasmin Smith. Um, Jennifer, they last about... Um, this order is actually being picked up tomorrow. So like I was saying in my other video, gosh, um, I, when I have a strawberry order, I wash them in the morning. Um, I don't wash them as soon as I buy them because it breaks them down. It goes ahead and start you breaking the strawberries down. And then a couple of days later when you need them, they won't be good to use because they'll be soggy and very like mushy. So, um, I got the strawberries Monday. I washed them this morning. Um, I towel blotted them. Don't squeeze too hard. Just kind of. I went ahead after that and stuck my toothpick in the center of them. Let me show you. Right in the middle. Make sure you get them in there really good so it's not wiggly when you go to dip. And um, she will be picking up tomorrow. I've had strawberries that I played around with when I first started doing this that have sat in the refrigerator for like four or five days and they were still good. Um... As long as they're in a cold environment, if they're not being eaten, they'll last for, I would say, like four or five days. Because I've made some for my husband and just set them in the fridge in a um, Tupperware bowl, and they they did pretty good. Okay, I'm sorry, guys, that the live feed, you're welcome. The live feed I did do on the strawberries didn't make it, which sucks, but hey, life goes on. But this is the finished product. This is how I set them up. And I used to use like a small little treat box, but the strawberries started getting bigger. So I was like, I need something else, you know, to put them in. But I found that a, cup, a cupcake container does very well. And it just makes it look neat and pretty. So the color scheme for these were silver and um, pink. So I did sanding sugar, sugar and pink. Just did, you know, nothing perfect with the lining. I'm not a, I'm more of a rustic type of chick when it comes to baking and things. Um, certain things I do want to be spot on, but when it comes to strawberries and stuff like this, I'm not looking. My, I'm personally not personally not looking for perfection. Um, this is my way that I express myself. Myself, I'm not a perfect person, so I like rustic things. Even when it comes to icing, putting frosting on my cupcakes, I use an ice cream scoop. Um, I don't like things to be perfect. That's just not me. Um, I'm more of a rustic person. So these are finished, and I'm going to put them in the fridge. Yes, Amanda. Um, there are a lot in there. I, yes, I am in Beaufort. Yes, I'm in Beaufort, Georgia. So that should, I think I'm the only one in Beaufort, Georgia, if I'm not mistaken the last time I checked. So you should be good. Um, my logo on my Instagram page is like a candy apple and it has my name inside and my page um, goes on to say unique sweets and unique sweets, treats and eats, because I also show like some of the food things I do on there too. So hopefully you got me, Amanda. Okay. Enough blabbling on. I'm putting these in the fridge y'all. Do I have space? Yes, I sure do. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, to the pretzels. Let's get started with the pretzels. So, um, like I said before, let me kind of wipe the strawberry juices off of this. I get, I'm going to leave it in the description box as well, but um, I get my, um, I can't even think of the dag on my parcel and, not parcel, I don't know, it's going to hit me, but... 
I get my mat. I got my mat off of Amazon. I will leave it in the description box. It's also located in like my other dipping videos. Um, wax paper is also good. Parchment paper is also good. You can go to the Dollar Tree, get parchment paper or wax paper. It does the same thing, but I'm actually in love with my mat. So um, I will leave it in the description box after um, I finish the live feed. I'll put the link in as well for pretty much everything that I'm using in this video. This is the chocolate that I use. I get it from Hobby Lobby. They do sell it on Amazon. I use my 40% off, so it's like $6 and some change. And I love it, it's very smooth. So for pretzel dipping, you can use a glass. I'm using a cup. And it's already melted down 30 minutes at a time. You don't wanna scorch your um, chocolate. It's, it's very nasty. When I first started, doing treats I scorched candy apple can't oh my gosh I can't believe I didn't even know I scorched it it just smelled funny I didn't know what was going on until I did a little bit more research it had like a really funny tangy taste be careful whether it's candy I'm um, making candy or white chocolate because you can scorch it it's really nasty and it gets it's you can't use it you literally you waste your money so um, I already have a dozen well 12 pretzel sticks already Take it out of the bag, put it in a Ziploc bag so you don't want to keep them out. They'll stale so they can be fresh. And you can get these at Walmart, Dollar Tree. Don't sleep on Dollar Tree. Just because it's a dollar does not mean that it's not good quality. Um, I tend to go to Dollar Tree more to get these because when I go to Walmart or Publix, they're all broken up in the bag for the most part when i get these bags from the dollar tree um they're in good condition and i'll show you guys how those look schneider pretzel rods like i said i try to find the best looking ones this may have when i open it it may have maybe one that's kind of chipped up or broke up that I won't be able to use. But other than that, you will get good quality out of these from the Dollar Tree. I've also bought pretzel rods from Aldi. Don't sleep on Aldi either, y'all. You get like the big tub. Less a long time. Hello, Debbie. Okay, so I have my pretzel. Silicone. See, I told y'all that word was going to hit me. My silicone mat, guys. This is a silicone mat. I love this. I live by this. I use it for everything. It just hit me. Sorry, I had a brain fart. My silicone mat. I'll leave it in the description box once I finish up this live feed. So I have that on standby. So I'm going to go ahead and start dipping my pretzels. I'm so scared YouTube is like going to mess up this video, but I'm just, I'm just going to go. So I put it in the cup long enough to dip, so I kind of tilt it to the side. I stick my pretzel in and I just, I turn it and I pull it out. So I have more than half of the pretzel covered and I also have room for you to pick it up and eat it without the chocolate melting from your own body heat. So I kind of just wiggle that off, the excess. So there we have it. And I literally just set it on the mat. And like I said before, this chocolate dries really fast. So by the time you get 12 done, um, you can dip again. Sometimes I do like to dip, double dip the pretzel sticks so the chocolate is really kind of thick on there. It, it just tastes really good when you bite into it. So I think I'm going to dip them again after I finish them. Yes, um, Angel, yes, the cup method is really, really, I like it. Some people use like a glass cup too because it keeps the um, chocolate warmer longer. I mean, at a good temperature for dipping, but... I'm all down for a plastic cup.
Um, no, I have not. I it's funny, I haven't had anyone ask me about um caramel pretzels. No. I'm gonna have to look into that. It sounds delicious. <laughs> So, and I kind of rub it just a little bit against the cup and let it sit down. But I have made caramel um, strawberries. I dip them in chocolate first and then I let them sit and dry. And then um, I kind of let the caramel sit for a little bit, but when I, I can still use it and I just drizzle it on and add some peanuts. I've done that also on candy candy pop, I mean, candy cake pops for a customer. They wanted white chocolate with caramel drizzle. So, I don't know. I have to try um, it on pretzels. That sounds really good. And to be honest, guys, a lot of stuff I make, or if you even see on my Instagram page, I know this is going to sound so crazy. I don't even eat it. Um, I taste it, or I get my I call my kids and my husband my taste testers because I don't eat. <laughs> I'm so weird. I don't eat a lot of the stuff I make. I don't eat cheesecakes. I don't eat pies. I don't eat banana puddings. I don't eat um, cobblers. I don't. I don't. I don't eat that stuff. So I get my husband to um, be my taste tester and my kids or um, my friends. I'll taste to make sure like the flavor is there, but. The stuff I'm, I'm like a texture person I can't really do different textures it's, it's so my my family thinks I'm crazy it's, it's very weird I'm gonna have to try that, um, Amanda. I am. It's just, it sounds really good when I have a cheat day. So I have a few keto videos on my channel when I was honestly when I was going super hard on keto. Um, I did a few um, recipes. So of course everybody knows keto is consists of like no sugars, and a lot of customers couldn't understand how I was a baker and I did, I wasn't eating what I made. Like I said, it doesn't affect me like that. I guess it's willpower. So right now, um, I'm not going to say I'm on keto right now, but um, I'm watching my sugar intake and stuff like that. I went on vacation last week and I kind of, yeah, I kind of reneged a little. So yeah, um, when I came back home, I started back on, I'm doing low carb. So like veggies, no sugars. Um, veggies and a lot of water. Um, of course, I noticed when I start back drinking like a whole bunch of juice and soda. My skin breaks out really bad. So it was like, mm-mm, honey. You better do what your body wants you to do. Get it, get it back together. Get it right. So I'm back on my low-carb thing, y'all. How's your summer going, guys? How is it with the kids being home? I'm so used to being home by myself. Like, now that the kids are home, like, I don't want any noise. I don't want to hear anything. I, don't, I just want it to be silent. But we all know it does not happen like that. So how's y'all summer going? Me and my kiddos are actually leaving out to Florida again. And I have family in Florida. I'm from Florida, so... Is home. 
um, my aunt is getting married and because I do some of everything, she asked me to, of course, do her makeup and do her dessert table. So for her dessert table, I'm going to be doing apples, um, banana pudding shots, peach cobbler shots, chocolate covered pretzels, and Oreo pops, which is basically Oreo on the stick di dipped in chocolate. So I'm really excited about that. And my little sister is going to be chefing it up. And then that's my last summer trip, y'all. No more trips for the summer. We're going to go to the beach. Oh, um, Palm Coast, Florida. It's Central Florida. You, I don't know. Some people might have heard of it, but it's an up-and-coming little city. When I was in school, it was nothing there. But now they have like a Zaxby's and Aldi and Chick-fil-A. But it's called Palm Coast, Florida. It's between St. Augustine and Daytona Beach. It's like one of those exits you pass on 95. And you like, oh, ain't nothing going on off of those exits. But it's a little something-something. A lot of people retire there. We have a lot of up northerners that are there. A lot of New Yorkers. Um, and when I was going to school there, it was only one high school. So everybody knew everybody. Oh, it's been hot here too. Even when I was in Florida. Let me tell you. Okay, so I'm finished dipping these. Ugh, I don't know, as much as I say I'm ready for my kids to <laughs> be gone and be able to do things outside of the house when they get a little older, I don't know if I'm ready to be a grandparent yet. <laughs> but I know that's an awesome feeling. It's like little duplicates of you in the midst of everything. I have a five-year-old and I have a seven-year-old. And all they do is fight. They're upstairs now if you hear screaming. Yeah, it's them. So, so that you can reuse your chocolate, I dip it right back in the same thing that I dip my strawberries in so that I can use it. I'm trying to wait for these to dry so I can re-dip them. I don't I don't hmm, I don't know if I'm going to re-dip them. They might be fine. I just have to let them dry. So I got as much chocolate out of this cup as I could. I'm gonna wash that out later. My strawberries. Yes, Madison? For the princess chick. I don't these are for an order. Okay. okay I want one pretzel like that. With a regular one? Mm-hmm. And frosting. Yeah, it's not done yet. You're gonna have to wait. Okay. So yeah. Trying to go back. 95 burning up. <laughs> okay, there. This man. I'm from Pensacola, but I live in California now. Oh, okay, Pensacola. Yes, I know where Pensacola is. I'm going to sit these in the fridge for a little bit so they can kind of hurry up so I can show you guys how to drizzle on them and stuff. Um, yes, I know. I haven't been in Pensacola. But I've heard good things about Pensacola. Mm -hmm. Good things. Well, while that is sitting, let me go ahead and I can show you guys something else that I'm going to do to the pretzels. Of course, I use sanding sugar for the strawberries. It adds a good flavor when you bite into it. Kind of crunchy and sweet, not overly done.
flower mold. Hmm. Oh, that's another thing. When it comes to like stuff like that, I I do find it. I don't like the way fondant smells. It literally makes me gag. Um, I did some um I did some stuff about a couple of years ago. I did some mini mouse um Madison, can you hand me a paper towel? I did some mini mouse bowls on cupcakes and I gagged the whole time of making those little bowls for I said a paper towel. Um for those cupcakes. Something about the smell of fondant. And I don't like Play-Doh either. And I kind of affiliate that with Play-Doh. The only cake I've ever ate with fondant. No, I have not tried that, Angel. But I have seen that before. Maybe that'll be a little bit better for me. Because buying fondant. Ugh, the smell alone is like. It makes me crazy. Talking about it makes me crazy. So I have some chrome. Oh, Aces Dust. It's also in some of my um, other videos, too, that I use to splash out um, my goodies, my treats. I'll leave it in my description box. So, for that, you can either use Lemon Abstract, Pure Lemon Abstract to mix it so it can... Um, create a liquid you don't want it to be too watery but just enough so you can splash it so you can use lemon abstract or vodka so why not use vodka and use whipped vodka yes, Madison. you have to wait I'm doing an order it'll be best for you to just go back upstairs Why do you have a hoodie on? I don't have a hoodie on. That is a hoodie. So I'm pouring a little bit. Stop. It's just so thin. I think I probably put too much, but it's okay. If you guys go through some of my older videos, I did candy apples, and I kind of, I used gold to splash them. It's the same thing. So I just mix it together so it becomes, have a consistency, making sure all of it is broke down. No, um, hello, let me, I'm looking at my iPad so I can look back at the comments and get your names. Soltra? I have not, um, I have not made stiletto, um, shoes, but I have seen them. I have, um, some followers that make them, and they're really, really pretty. I actually have a friend in Kentucky, um, she made them, and she filled them with strawberries, chocolate covered strawberries. They're really pretty. I seen the mold though on Amazon, but go ahead. My customers must must know how I roll, cause I really don't get like any, I guess out of the out of the way things. Pretty simple for the most part. Okay, so I have my pretzel sticks in the fridge. Can I see? You look pretty. Thank you, Madison. So, I'm going to take my chocolate that I transferred back into my bowl. I'm not reheating it. Um, I like my chocolate. It doesn't have to be super warm to do what I need it to do. Bacon. So this is how they look after they're cooled. 
And I'm literally just going to take the chocolate and just drizzle it onto the pretzels. And like I said before, I don't look perf for perfection. That's just more of a rustic person. Lines don't have to be super straight or full lines. So that's how it looks. And the chocolate is going to dry super fast because it's the base of the um, pretzel. It's already been in the fridge. So once you put the chocolate on there, it'll dry fast. Throw it away. Sure, Madison. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> what is your brother doing? Playing on his And this is the way I drizzle my chocolate on to my goodies. <laughs> no, she doesn't even hold trust. She doesn't even have a. Um, she doesn't even have a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. I wonder. I don't think I. I haven't came across a YouTube video on them. Like I was saying before, some people like to melt the chocolate down, put it in the bag, and drizzle the chocolate on, or put it in like a little bottle and drizzle it on. I do it the way I like to do it. I don't do all of that. This way works for me. So whatever works for you, stick with it. Yummy. Don't let anyone try to tell you what you're doing is wrong. Mommy, I made you know? chocolate. And it's and yummy. You can do anything. There's so many different ways. Thank you. Huh? He said thank you for you. Well, my. Madison, I'm not talking to you. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, mommy. What is these for? Hmm? What is these purpose for? I'll put them right there. So I don't make a mess on inside of it. So YouTube seems to be working now. No interruptions. Thank goodness. I was having a fit, guys. And it did the way it did me for my strawberry live feed. Which I still have a video <gasps> where I dipped strawberries a couple of times. Done them a different, couple of Those different strawberries, ways. Mommy. They're already in the refrigerator, in the container, cooling. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to look at them in the refrigerator. Please don't touch. All right. So I have on this one a bit of extra chocolate, so I'm going to show you guys how I get rid of it. I have a knife, and I just, I set it down back on the mat, and I just kind of, I slice it off lightly. Now it's coming. Like that. Mommy, 
glitter on the... No, I'm not going to put pink glitter on this. I'm going to do something else on these. What are you going to put on the apples? I'm going to put um, the same thing I splashed these with. That's what I'm going to splash the apples with. Um... I want to go buy some something. What? Mm -hmm. Can you check on Zoe? Huh? When was the last time Zoe was out? She never been out, so I'm going to take her to her. Zoe's our doggy, our puppy. She's a mess. Okay, once again, I have extra chocolate, and you can just... Shave it off. Mommy. <laughs> what? I was thinking about I wanted to put the cho chocolate cookies. Back up, please. The chocolate cookies. Mm -hmm. In the Oreos. What do you mean? These cookies. The other ones in the pantry. It's gonna be yummy. You think? Alright, so I'm done with those. For those of you that are still watching, now it's time for the fun part. Now, kitchen, your sink, kitchen sink can get a little messy. This is my part. So I have that mixture that I created mm -hmm. with the dust. And like I said, you can add lemon abstract or vodka. I use whipped, whipped vodka. And it helps it dry fast. So water is not going to be good for this. So I have this stick and I'm going to place it over my sink. And I'm going to just literally throw the chrome on it. It's not going to be perfect. It's going to come off as a more rustic effect. And this little brush I got is from um, the baking store. So it's not like a random paintbrush or anything like that. Today, um, drop. Yeah. So that's how that looks. I haven't done them. I haven't had anybody ask for the um the cheesecake stuffed apples or the strawberry stuffed cheesecake. I haven't had anybody ask for it. It's okay. What is this? But I do have, I think when I do get an order, I have a good concoction what rather. What is this, Mommy? Wash my for the dog. It's blue. Yes, but you don't need to put it in anything. Zoe! A little bit of water. And I'm just literally don't holding it over my sink. And just splattering. No particular way. Doesn't have to be perfect. Sure, I will. Yep. I sure can. Oh. It's, it's really, it's, I promise you, it's, it's not hard. Just a little practice. That's it. A little practice. That's it. Oh. 
I've been doing treats for my daughter is five for four years now. I was in class for four years. Um, like I said, they don't have to be perfect. Just gives it like a fancy look. <laughs> crazy kids. I'm not crazy. Silly. <laughs> Has anyone made candy grapes yet? The viewers I still have, have you guys tried, uh, or they call them crack, the crack grapes with the um, Jolly Ranchers on them? You did? How did you like them, Angel? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Candy apples, it can be rough. Like I was saying, my first batch of candy apples, I scorched, and I didn't even know I scorched it. Maddie, that was really nasty. That That's a good idea, Angel. At first, I wasn't too sure how I felt about them because I was literally, and I actually, I did a tutorial on them. Um, I was literally trying to eat them right after I dipped them and put the candy on them. But um, in those less than in the refrigerator, like two days, once I let them cool down in the fridge, they were good. Um, my husband is kind of picky about stuff, but... He even, he liked them. So, and then the kids, of course, they eat anything. So, 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 do you have any mouth? Almost finished. <laughs> Yeah, that's just like, have you guys tried um, candied strawberries? Because strawberry seeds are on the outside, the moisture breaks down the candy, so they only last for like maybe an hour. But they're really, really good. But they don't, they don't last long. They're pretty. I, I did a tutorial on those two, a video on those two. They're pretty, but they don't, they don't last long. So literally, if somebody wants to order them, I'm like, you call me 30 minutes ahead of time. I use, okay, hold on, let me show you guys. This was my last one, guys. I use um, this chocolate. No, they don't last all long at. Uh, Bianca, I use um, Choco Maker Chocolate. Um, I'm going to leave the link, but if you want to go ahead and try to find it. Actually, I think I, I don't know. I'm not going to say I left it in the description box before because sometimes I use different chocolates. But this is what I started with. I'm trying to try different stuff, but this is the best. It's smooth um, and you can use it. It, it doesn't dry as fast. It takes a minute, so you can kind of go far with it. But I use this. If you have a Hobby Lobby in your um, area, Hobby Lobby, use your 40% coupon off. It's like $6 and some change. And I also have this one that I'll be using.
this weekend when I do um, my aunt's wedding. This is these are at Michael's. It's chocolate maker too, but it's natural. Um, a lot of people have like different allergies and GMOs and stuff like this. So this one is non-GMO, pure cane sugar, natural vanilla, um, non-hydrated oils, all that stuff. So I want it to be safe. So I'm using these this weekend. And I'm doing strawberries, pretzel steaks, Oreo pops. Um, yeah. But um, Michael's for this one. And Hobby Lobby for this one. And also Amazon. Alrighty, guys. So, my order... Bye. Thank you for watching. Thank you for um tuning in. Thank you, Bianca. I try to be as real and as natural as I am. This is me. This is my lifestyle. Um, I'm a stay-at-home mom. So, you know, I want to be relatable. And I feel like I'm a relatable person. So I might mess up on some words in my videos and stuff like that. But I'm glad you guys enjoy it and support me. That's awesome. Um, but, yeah, just, like, doing this stuff and showing you guys. Like, I'm pretty cool about... Um, I don't mind answering questions. Like, I'm... Right now, I'm not too big on YouTube that I can't answer a question. For the most part, I respond unless it's just something ignorant. I just, I don't entertain it. But, um, yeah, I don't mind answering questions and stuff like that either. Um, so, these are finished. I've been on here almost an hour. I didn't know if it would be too long if I would show you guys how I packaged them. But, since I still have a couple of viewers on, um, I can show you guys how I packaged them too. Okay, Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Um, I, I I have those wafers. I do. I'm going to lie. I don't really like them. I don't like them. Um, the chocolate to me tends to dry very, very fast. It takes a minute to get it smooth. Um, I've seen people use coconut oil to make the chocolate smooth. Um, I really don't want to do that because I don't know what people, if they're allergic to certain stuff. So that's why I go with the chocolate that I use. And they also have, it's a company out there. No. I forgot their name. But they have, because you can't use regular food coloring to color chocolate. It will scorch it. It won't do what you want it to do. I've been, I've been down that road. Um, but they have all of these colors, varieties of colors, blues, purples, greens, pinks. And they, um, I have to look that up. I haven't heard of that name brand before. But that particular company has um, chocolate that um, you can, I mean, food coloring for chocolate. So it still keeps it smooth and reusable and all that great stuff. Um, so, yeah. But I'm more of a chocolate maker, chocolate girl. It just seems to be very smooth to me. And I like the way, I like the consistency of it. Sorry, I have my sink on. I like the consistency of it. Madison, Maddie. Can you get my iPad charger, please? Huh? Can you get my iPad charger? Yeah. Hurry, hurry, hurry. So, um, since I have some viewers, like I said, and I see more people are kind of coming in, I'm going to show you guys how I bag these up. Here, here, here. Hurry, 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 hurry. Here, here, here. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Plug in my iPad so I can see the comments that come up if I miss them on my phone. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm going through you guys' comments right quick. Um, no problem, Angel. I don't mind sharing. Tammy, do you ever use that? Okay, okay. I'm going to do that. Um, so make it so are you going to post both of your videos you went live on? The first video didn't make it. Um, I don't know what YouTube was doing. 
Um, I'm really upset about that because I was showing you guys how to dip the berries and put the... I'm sorry, it didn't... It didn't make it. But I do have other strawberry dipping videos on my page. I mean, on my channel, if you want to go back and watch those. Um, this video will be posted. Um, usually when I do live videos, I save them. So you guys can kind of go back through them, skip through them. You don't have to sit and watch the whole video. Um, you guys can skip through them. So this one will be posted after, and I'll put um, all the good stuff in the description box. Uh, Bianca, are you talking about my candy apple boxes? Because I think I put that link in the video. Oh, no problem. No, it was just about strawberries. That's it. And like I said, I have videos already on that. That's I was just showing you guys me doing my orders live. You're welcome, Tammy. Okay, Angel, I have to check. I have to look into that. Yes, chameleon. That's exactly what it is, Angel. Chameleon chocolate coloring. Yes, it's the best. Yes, yes, yes. I haven't used it myself, but I followed on my Instagram. That just got me super excited because I couldn't think of the um, name. I knew it was like a lizard involved. But yes, I really want to try um, that. When I usually get orders for um, chocolate, it's like red. And I do use Wilson's, but... It, it it takes me a minute and it's funny because I don't really like using it but my customers will tell me that they love it and I'm like okay so that's why I do use it um if you go through my pictures I've done like cake pops I've dipped them in red and pink and used edible sugar sheets uh yeah but I don't like the chocolate I rather use chocolate maker and then I'm going to look into the um chameleon coloring and open my blinds back a little bit to let some air in i mean some sun in okay so i'm going to show you guys how i bag it i might as well i mean why not watch out zozo okay so i get my little boxes um from my local bakery store and i put my little sticker on them Mm, I have to try that too. I haven't tried to flavor it. Mm. The chameleon is beautiful. Is your link in your description? I will send you some. Oh, really? Um, where is my? Oh, if you go to my about me section. Do I have stuff, my information in there? No. Email me, please, Tammy. Or you can um, go to my Instagram page. It's too little to see on here. Look up my name, guys. If you're not following me on Instagram, look up my name. I'm going to show you guys. Um, too much to... It's too much to say, rather. Hey, Crystal. Hey. There. Hey. Oh, I got the stickers from off of um, Vista Print. I don't know what. I don't. Let me look at the box. I have it right over there. Yes, um, I, Zeno, Zeno, Chris, Chrissy, if I'm saying that correctly. Yes, I went through Vista Prints for my cards. And this is my Instagram, guys. Unique sweets and treats, all one word. Um, I know there's a few out there. I'm Buford, Georgia. I'm in the Georgia area. Or you can just type in my name, which is Yasmin Smith. Yes, I love this to print. That's my place. Let me look at the box so I can see what size they are. I'm not sure if it, it tells me. It probably doesn't. Um, when I order them, I usually get them during the sale. So I just I buy a whole bunch of them at one time. Dang it, I don't know what... I don't want to lie. I don't know, guys. I have to look back through them. But I, I have the stick, the circle ones, and then I have these for my bigger labels. So 
so yeah. Alrighty, so get my pretzel bags. Yeah, I have to go back and find the invoice. And it's been, like I said, I buy them and I buy a lot at one time. But I can go through my email and look at the size. Because I don't want to tell y'all what I think they are. And that's not what they are. Okay, so these are my pretzel bags. And I'm using silver ribbons. And I actually got these from Hobby Lobby. But you can go to Dollar Tree and buy way more than this for a dollar. So my ribbon, my scissors, and my treat bags, my slender treat bags. Um, I'm going to leave you the link on, which they have them at your local Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobbies and Michaels. But usually when you get them on Amazon, you get more for your money. So Amazon is my best friend. So I have these. Wash my hands. See, our Dollar Tree doesn't have them. I can get like um, little treat bags, like when I make um, Oreo pops and Rice Krispie treat pops or whatever. I can find those size bags at the Dollar Tree, but I've never saw the the pretzel stick um, bags. We have our bag. Just kind of open it up a little bit. And just slide it straight in. And then I cut off like. about that much and I just tie it at the end of the treat bag and then I tie it again And be careful because once you drop a pretzel, for the most part, it's going to break. Mm -hmm. So I have that. And then to make the ribbon jazzy, just put some little swirls at the end of them. Nice, sweet, and simple. And then I go ahead and prep my box. I don't know if they have these boxes on Amazon. Thank you, Angel. I'm not sure if they have these boxes on Amazon. Um, I got these from my local bakery store. Like I said before, I have, they come in different colors, pinks, greens, reds, whites. Since she's silver, I usually buy silver and pink ones. I have a couple of more pink, but her color scheme was silver and pink. So I was like, let's go with the silver. It's super classy. So, make that box full. It just, it makes it better looking when you give them to them in like a container versus like a bag. Especially if you know they're for like a legit event. about one inch I wanted to say that but I wasn't sure I think so honey I think yeah they weren't too much bigger than that 
So to secure, well, I don't know why I'm doing it anymore because they actually have little pockets on the side. You just stick it in there to secure the box, make sure your stuff doesn't like fall out, but more so for the box to stay a box. I just lay them in there. I do like different directions, so when I close the box, it'll go down. It's okay, TT. They don't look like this. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm in I'm in Georgia. I'm on the south side. I'm in um, Georgia in the star. We have apple picking like places you can actually go pick. I mean, strawberries and apples, so maybe we have, like, a better advantage at the good strawberries. Because for the most part, unless they look weird, like, two combined, I don't mess with those. Those are, like, I feel like they're played with. Like, somebody made those look like that. But for the most part, um, when it's strawberry season, the strawberries be on point. Be on point. And then they're, like, $3 for the carton at Sam's. Like, they're always on sale during this time and the um, silver doesn't smear it's dried so um, that's why you use either vodka or um, lemon abstract because it has like enough edible alcohols that they use in the product to dry it without it smearing yeah I, I think it's crazy no more than four dollars I'm gonna show you the size the container size So this is the size container I get at Sam's. I actually still have a huge one in here. I'm going to eat it later when I finish. Look at this. Uh, like, all of them was almost this size. I mean, you have a few that are in here that are smaller. But, I mean, you can't, you can't go wrong with that. And it's pretty. That's a pretty strawberry. Right? And like I said, I think it was like $3.48 for this container. And you get enough to do, because my daughter ate some of them, you can at least do two dozen in this one. No, go to Sam's. You can get like two dozen out of one of these containers. You'll get your money worth. And the strawberries will be delicious. So this is my first time doing a long live feed. My live feeds are usually like maybe, maybe 10 minutes or under 10 minutes. So I appreciate you guys that are watching. I guess I'm interesting. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Um, if you see a video that you want to share, share it. Thumbs up, all that great stuff. Um, follow me on Instagram. I have an Instagram that's called Yazzie's World, the same name as my YouTube page. And then my Unique Sweets and Treats page um, is another page. I do the same thing. I pick and pick and pick um, Zeno. If they're not 
what I want them to be. I mean, people look at me. They, they stop and they stare at me. They're like, what is she doing? But it's about the quality. And my customers know when they see a picture of a strawberry, for the most part, if it's strawberry season, they know what they're going to get. Oh, California, yeah. Never been to Cali. Want to go? Chocolate. Go ahead, Madison. Go ahead, Madison. But um, when they see a picture of some strawberries, hello, hello. that's why they want them because the way they look. No, that size, chocolate. like, no you can't go wrong. I'm going to show you guys, too, for um the viewers that just came on, how they look after I did them. Oh, I'm so mad at YouTube. My video did not make it. <laughs> I feel like I'm more natural going live. I feel like when I do a video and edit it, um, it's not me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I like going live. Okay, so this is my last one I'm putting in the bag. And um, with the pretzels, you can put them in the fridge. Or if you leave them out, like on your table, make sure it's room temperature in your home. Not too warm because, of course, it's chocolate, so it will melt. I'm going to have to wash that because the chocolate stuck to it. So let me show you guys the strawberries I did. And they are... Beautiful for the people that haven't saw, didn't see them. And I'm not even talking about beautiful because of what I did between dipping them. I'm just saying the size of the bad boys. Like, how can you go wrong? And they smell so good. I'm going to turn my camera around so I can give you guys a better look at them. Can I smell it? No, Madison. Okay, look. Like, look at that one. That is humongous. Like, those are really pretty. And I mean, it's not a bad strawberry in the bunch. Literally, it's not. They're all pretty decent looking strawberries. Thank you, Angel. So, yeah. You can't go wrong with Sam strawberries. Now, I'm not going to say they all the time they look that good, but when you catch them, you catch them. That was the good. I got a good container. Like I said, I was going through and people was like, yeah, I'm looking for the big ones and the good ones. Yeah, that's me. Maddie, you gave Zoe something to eat? No, she doesn't eat. She doesn't you want to pick Zoe up so they can see Zoe? Yeah. Hold up. That's Hello. Zoe. Hello. Say hi, Zoe. Zoe is a puppy. Okay, watch out. Watch out. You can move her now. Zoe is a very active <laughs> bad puppy. <laughs> I call her bad because it's like Zoe, another little kid. Why is it popping that? That's what it does. Mommy, let me Zoe wave. can be a handful. Let me wave. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, Madison. So I'm literally just opening up the scissors. Be careful because I have punctured my fingers before. And I'm just... This is the same ribbon they use on balloons. Oops. There we go. Okay. Dino. Aww. No, 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 mommy can't eat that. No, you don't like chocolate. I love chocolate, but mommy can't do sugars right now, sweetie. 
So I'm gonna need for you to back up with that chocolate because it smells really good. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> So Angel, in your city, what treats are popular? Like, what do people ask about? Yeah, I would say I do like um, dollar cupcake specials, so I get everybody hooked on mine when I do my specials. I do them like every other month or so. You have to buy 12, and I do um, maybe two or three flavors at the most um, of cupcakes. If you want to mix, I charge like $2 more just to mix the flavors in the dozen, but um, I get a lot of cupcake orders my favorite or I would say my famous cupcake is my red velvet flavor everybody loves the red velvet and um like for different events people like the infused strawberries have you tried infused strawberries I think I have a video on my channel for those too put like a shot of a little baby shot of liquor <laughs> hold on wait a minute infused popcorn what is that Like, I haven't even tried, like, making different flavors of popcorn. I haven't got any orders for popcorn. Maybe if I try them and then show I can do them. I like to kind of play around first before I'm like, yeah, I can do that. No. I'm honest. No, I haven't done those yet. But that sounds crazy. These are too cute, guys. Look at that. Uh oh, I hear feet coming downstairs. Troublemaker is coming. Hi. You always want a snack. You look like what you've been doing. I'm still on video. Say hello. Hello. That's my son. He's a gamer. No, I'm 
so he stays upstairs a lot. <laughs> What? what kind of snack you want? Wow. Okay, so you stop it at 280 degrees. Remove it and add liquor. And let it calm down Mommy. for a few minutes. To... Oh. Okay. I don't think I can do that. Yo, Watch out. Have... Madison, watch Mommy, out. Mommy, remember that food that we had at Snoopy's? Mm. Yes, I remember. Oh, no. Okay. I want Snoopy's. What are you, what are you telling me? Them. You want chicken wings or something? What are you saying? Chicken bones. Chicken bones. This is a chicken bone. Who are you trying to give chicken bones to, Zoe? That's me. No, that chicken, the one I had left, was hot. You wouldn't like it. <laughs> Sorry, I gave them to Dad. I put them in Daddy's box. Like a baby. Let me see. Okay, watch out. Getting too close. You're getting too much oh. too close in my area. Okay, so I have two more to go. And that'll be it guys. I appreciate everyone that stayed on and actually watched. It's awesome. Place back in the oven to dry. Whoa. Okay. That's. I never knew you can do that. I'm gonna have to try that. I'll keep you posted. You you follow my Instagram, right? I'm gonna go on there. I'm gonna I go follow you back. So we can give each other different ideas and stuff. I love popcorn, but I hate eating it because it gets stuck all in my teeth. And I'm not going to lie, I did an event. And one of the ladies that helped with the event, she donated um, buckets, barrels of different flavors of popcorn. She had peanut, peanut butter popcorn. <laughs> when I tell you... That peanut butter popcorn was delicious. It was so good. I was eating it for breakfast. And now I have to go to the dentist because I was chomping down on it. This is when I was taking a break from keto. Chopping down on that popcorn and chipped my back tooth. I was so upset. Like, I'm so mad about it. I still, I kept the piece of tooth because I'm just, I can't believe I did that. Like, I'm all about teeth, and I chipped my tooth on popcorn, being greedy. My husband couldn't even, he was like, who does that? I was like, it was the kernel. <gasps> Butterfinger, po okay, so how do you make the Butterfinger popcorn? Because I bought a bag of Butterfinger popcorn from Sam's. And it was not good. It's like they took basic um, popcorn with no flavor and they put it on the pan and literally, this is how it tastes, like what they did. Drizzled chocolate over it and crushed up um, Butterfinger pieces and just sprinkled them on. Like if you didn't get a piece that had like a lot of chocolate or Butterfinger on it, it was nasty.
Okay, I'm done. And this is how they look in the box. Let me just close those up. Seal it. Doesn't that look super good, guys? Super cute. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm going to put these in the fridge. It's been real, y'all. Seriously, it's been it's been cool. Have to do this more often. Um, I'm going to have a busy week. I'm going to be out of town, like I said, for a wedding. Um, I might do a vlog or I might just go live sometime. Angel. When I finish losing the rest of my weight, I'm going to have to try that. <laughs> I love Butterfinger. Oh, my gosh. You said... Pop the corn, get a chocolate flavor. It with peanut butter. Pour on popcorn. Crush up your butter fingers and add to the popcorn. I'm going to. I'm going to. That sounds really delicious. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that. That sounds really good. Zoe, what are you doing? But I'm done. I only have one part left of my order, and that is to dip some apples. And I'm not going to go live for that because I have a video on it. But the apples um, are cleaned, and about time. I'm going to dip them tomorrow morning, though. Um, they're, I cleaned them this morning, and they're just sitting. I let them sit out, dry, and do what they do. The color does change on them, and it's okay, and they look ashy. That's how you want them to look. That's how you know you got a clean apple. So, I'm going to dip those tomorrow. They're going to be pink splattered with silver. I think in the video I have pink splattered in gold. So, yeah. Yeah, the apples are big too. Um, I went to a store. Uh, my friend told me about it. I don't have any in my area. I live North Georgia, so I had to drive like maybe 20 minutes for them. Um, it's called Food Depot. Um, it's kind of a store that sells cheaper groceries and they put them in other areas, I guess, that, that cater to more of um, their customers in those areas, which is awesome. I wish they had one out in my area, um, but it wasn't a bad drive. And I got um, the bags have like maybe 10 to 9 apples in them and they were $4.99. The first time I used those apples, it was like 12 in the bag for $3.99, but they were smaller, which is fine because then I just down, I call them apple pops instead of like full-size candy apples. And you just charge a little less for them, but I mean, they were good. Like the apples were juicy and everything. They were really, really good. But um, yeah, that's it. Um, I have to bling out some stuff. I don't know if I want to go live because this video is like an hour and 23 minutes. I know nobody's going to sit through the whole video, which is fine. Skim through it to get to wherever, you know, you need to see or whatever. I'm cool with that. Um, but I do have some things to bling out. I don't know. I might take a rest and go back live so I can show you guys. What time is it? 528. So how about this? I'll take a little break. And I'll come back at 6 o'clock, Angel, if you're still there. And whoever else is viewing the video, I'm going to come back on live um, at 6 o'clock. And I'm going to take y'all step by step on how I'm going to bling out um, these cupcake stands that I'm going to use for my banana pudding shots and my peach cobbler shots. And show you guys the cool stuff I got for Amazon. And I will link that stuff as well. So if you guys ever want to get it. Okay, Angel, good. At least I know I have at least one viewer and someone to talk to. 
See you at six. Okay, Sherry. I'll see you guys. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and clean up the mess I made. And um, I'll be back at six o'clock to show you guys how I'm going to bling out these stands and stuff for the wedding this um, next weekend. I like doing everything a little ahead of time. So 